Wow, Earthy, we've done it. We've walked humanity through. There are no foreign people. Huh? Uh, anything else? Uh, you're the co-creator of this tale. Tell them about this, the secret statue. Okay. Well, 50 years ago, I scrawled the phrase pest ban across my Syrian and Iraqi visas, inspired by the story by Edgar Allan Poe, The Mask of the Red Death. I mean, just find and replace the name Prince Prospero with the, uh, you know, your favorite uh, dictator, <laughs> you know? Pompous fool. <clears throat> Not too hard to find those in America as we know it today. Find and replace pest ban with Muslim ban. Seems like it's the same old story going down right now. But I did something sneaky and extremely powerful just before I burned my American passport at the monastery to celebrate my 22nd birthday, uh, I removed the 10-page fold-out section that had been attached to my American passport. This fold-out section had the pest ban scrawl on its pages like a thief saving a few gold coins for later. I did not burn these pages. Mm -mm. I hid this remnant within a statue at the monastery. The hidden document is still there in the statue, silently vibrating. I'm the only one who knows where it is. Hmm. Hmm. Call me out of my mind, but when Earthy and I meditate, we feel like these hidden pages are like a Tibetan Searchlight lighthouse beaming across the planet from the Himalayas, beaming down and around from the Himalayas. Tibetan laser searchlight mm -hmm. indefatigably throbbing, <coughs> a never ending. Guy, a heartbeat more merciless than Vipassana. To transcend and to heal the pest ban that plagues our planet. Until all beings are happy. <laughs> Who's crazy now? <laughs>